I'm David Johnson from Denison Yachting, here to take you on board Rogue, the 105 foot motor yacht built in 1984 in San Diego, California at the Pool Shipyard. Both the interior and exterior of the vessel were designed by John Vandenberg and Todd Chaffee. Out of all the things that appealed to me most about this boat, there are three things that really stand out. The first being the swim platform that converts into a beach club. The second being the huge jacuzzi deck that has a large bar. And the third being a full beam master cabin. On today's walkthrough, we're gonna start you off on the first of the three notable features, which is a swim platform that converts into the beach club. Center line is an 18 foot Aquascan tender. This tender is quickly and easily launched by lowering the tender elevator. To port and starboard of the tender are two storage pods. The port side pod has a hydraulic hatch for gaining access to the sea bobs and other scuba equipment. The starboard pod is configured to hold a jet ski or other water sports equipment. Directly above this pod is your passer rail. When all the toys are cleared off the deck, this area easily converts into a beautiful beach club with an umbrella and chairs. On the forward bulkhead of the swim platform, you'll find the access to the engine room. Rogue is powered by twin Caterpillar 3412 engines. The 1,350 horsepower engines give this vessel a cruising speed of 14 knots and a maximum speed of 18 knots. Picking up outside, we take these rounded steps up to the air-conditioned aft deck. The aft deck is centered around this large, high-gloss teak table. Add two deck chairs, and this table easily seats up to eight guests. On the overhead above the settee, we have speakers and four air conditioning vents. The addition of these four air conditioning vents allows you to enjoy this space even on the hottest of days. Next to the flat screen TV is your watertight door giving you access to the day head. We're gonna pass through these two sliding glass doors and take a look at the salon. Now that we're in the salon, you get your first glimpse of the new decor. In a 2018 interior refit, all new carpeting, furniture, bedding, and decor were replaced to create a stunning interior. To port, you will find two large sofas and two armchairs positioned around a large wooden coffee table. After the large sofa is this flat screen TV. This TV and all the TVs on board are connected to the satellite TV, the Apple TV, and are networked to the vessel's database of hundreds of movies. All the way aft into starboard is a newly remodeled day head that also shares access with the aft deck. Forward of the day head is your formal dining that is currently set up for six guests, but can easily accommodate eight. Acting as a segue from the salon to the galley is this informal bar. An interesting feature about this bar is it has a divider that raises mechanically to provide you with privacy while your chef is preparing your next meal. From here, let's jump into the galley. Here in this nicely equipped galley, you have all the appliances that a professional chef needs and a lot of counter space. Here on the aft side of the galley, we've got a trash compactor, a commercial sink, and a dishwasher. On the forward side of the galley, you have a professional range GE double oven, a microwave, and an LG refrigerator and freezer. Stepping out of the galley, we're gonna take a look at all of the guest cabins on board, the first of which is the on-deck VIP stateroom, which is directly behind me. On the way to the on-deck VIP, we pass the laundry station. Center line in the on-deck VIP, we have a queen berth. As I mentioned earlier, all of the bedding, including the mattresses, have all been replaced in the last couple months. On the aft bulkhead, you will find a large wardrobe that also hides your audio video equipment and a large safe. This VIP also features a split level ensuite. From here, we take the stairs down to the master cabin. This full beam master features a king berth. 
This stateroom is perfect for anybody that likes to sleep in because of these sliding blackout panels. On the starboard side of the berth is drawer storage and a desk. Aft of here is the his and her ensuite. We enter the ensuite on his side. We pass through this beautiful glass shower and arrive at her side. The difference between her side and his side is her side has this beautiful vanity. Now back in the master on the port side, we find a row of drawers that lead us directly to a hanging locker. On the forward bulkhead is a large TV, your audio video equipment, and on the bottom cabinet is a wine cooler. Leaving the master cabin, we walk forward towards the VIP. We have two stops to make on the way to the VIP, the first of which is this doghouse. This space was specifically designed to provide storage for extended journeys. Forward of the doghouse are the crew quarters that can accommodate two. The crew quarters feature an ensuite. Our final stop on the lower deck is the second VIP stateroom. Here in the lower VIP is a queen berth. Directly overhead is an escape hatch. Aft and to port is a TV and a hanging locker. Aft and to starboard is your ensuite. Having left the guest accommodations, we are now standing in the wheelhouse. Rogue was designed for extended ocean passengers. Simply put, she was designed to go far. We see some of those qualities here in the wheelhouse. You have a clear line of sight, near vertical windows, and an overhanging brow that'll keep the sun out of your eyes for most of the day. We're gonna leave here and make a quick stop in the captain's cabin. This large captain's cabin features a queen berth and an ensuite. On the other side of this watertight door is what I would like to call the jacuzzi deck. All the way forward on the jacuzzi deck is a large marble topped bar. Behind the bar, you'll find a sink, a refrigerator, and an ice machine. Over the bar is a flat screen TV. Opposite the bar, you'll find the grilling station and access to the day head. The centerpiece of this deck has to be the eight person jacuzzi. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, this is the best place to watch a sunset. After the jacuzzi, you will find a full beam wraparound settee. The port side of this wraparound settee can be converted into a day bed, and that is what you see right here. Here on the port side are stairs that'll take you up to the next deck. This deck, as well as the flybridge, were added in the refit in 2000. This deck has a forward-facing bench seat, as well as a large wraparound sun pad. The forward-most feature of this deck is the original helm. This helm is a testament of more than three decades of memories at sea. Looking aft from here, we see the new helm that is the flybridge. From this vantage point, you have a bird's eye view of all of your surroundings. This will hands down be the captain's favorite place on board. Our last stop on today's walkthrough is the bow. The bow can be accessed from the starboard or port side. Today, I'm walking out the galley door on the port side. Standing on the bow, you can really appreciate the pedigree of this build. Her ground tackle consists of two anchors and two Maxwell windlass. The foredeck consists of three distinct lounging areas. The first of which is a large sun pad forward of the wheelhouse windows. The second is a molded in settee. The third space is a small padded area just forward of the windlass.
On behalf of myself and the rest of the Denison team, I would like to thank you for joining us on today's walkthrough of Rogue. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a walkthrough, feel free to contact me at any time.